Are you thinking about moving to Escondido, California? Because in this video, I'm going to be sharing the good, the bad, and the ugly of living in Escondido, California. I'm going to be sharing the pros and the cons. And if you guys stick around until the end, I'm going to share a pro and a con that's not really talked about or said about, but it's a really need to know if you're considering making a move to Escondido, California. So let's get after it right now. going over everything I'm gonna be very transparent very honest throughout the video if you guys have any questions about anything just comment down below so I can just answer you guys as quickly as possible now Escondido California you guys it is one of San Diego's oldest cities it is located northeast of San Diego if you guys haven't seen my map uh, my map tour video or my vlog tour video of Escondido California definitely check that out it kind of breaks down more hand in hand need to know things to do so you guys can kind of get a first hand basis of really Escondido and kind of get a good glimpse good glimpse if Escondido California is even the right place for you because maybe it is maybe it ain't right maybe you just don't know we don't know what we don't know that's why we're going to be sharing this video with you guys now before I really jump into it, if this is your guys' first time to this channel and you guys want to know everything that there is about living, eating, breathing, eating, playing, etc, 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 about Escondido, California, you guys just subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Escondido, California. My name is Jonathan, the team and I, we get calls, texts, emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move. You guys, we absolutely love it. So whether you guys are making your move to Escondido in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom one-on-one -on -one so we can help you guys make that smooth move to Escondido, California. Now you guys, let's really deep dive into the pros and the cons. I'm really excited to share all these with you guys. So with all that being said, let's get into the pros. So pro number one of living in Escondido, California, you guys, it's gonna be the diversity. So the diversity in Escondido, California, it is phenomenal. More than 50% of its residents are Hispanic of origin or their origin is of Hispanic descent. However you guys wanna word that, so it is very a Hispanic driven community. However, it's still just very diverse in any other different type of ethnicity or culture. They have a tremendous amount of different kind of cultures, restaurants, areas in Escondido. That's kind of a really cool thing. And one of my personal favorites about Escondido that it is a diverse com community because when you have diversity, you have different cultures, you have different restaurants, you have different things to do. And it's just a really cool place that you guys don't always have to continually do the same thing over and over and over. You guys can try new foods or try new things or meet new people and get to learn and experience different things. So that is why we're naming diversity as pro number one. Pro number two of living in Escondido, California. It's going to be the location. In my personal, honest opinion, the location of Escondido, California is really, really great. Why is it really, really, really great? Because, let's think about this, you guys. We're 35 minutes from downtown San Diego. We're 25 minutes from the closest beach. We're literally 30 minutes from Temecula, from Inland Empire, and all the amazing things that has to offer. I mean, really within a one mile, uh, one mile, one hour radius, you guys can be doing a whole lot of activities. The location of where you're at off the 15, the I-15 and the 78. I mean, you guys can literally jump on the I-15, go north to Temecula or Riverside, or you guys can jump on the 15 south and be go to downtown San Diego or jump on the 78 or and go to the beach. So that's a really cool, neat feature about Escondido is that its location, it's very, very prime because you're not too far 
from a major city or the beach or you know inland empire where you can do other types of activities so that's why we're naming the location as pro number two all right so let's go over, over our final pro that's not really talked about but this is in my honest opinion when i talk to people and i help people get into escondido this is their number one thing that they always say of why they decided to move to escondido california and that is the affordability now i know that sounds very vague but when i say affordability i'm not just talking about houses i'm talking about the overall cost of living in escondido it is significantly cheaper than the surrounding surrounding cities around Escondido, such as Oceanside, Carlsbad, Vista, San Marcos, right? All these areas, they tend to have a higher cost of living and higher prices for houses in general. So when you're looking at like, let's say Carlsbad, where houses are averaging 1.2 million and the cost of living is significantly higher in just about anything, whether it's gas, foods, services right escondido being a 25 minute drive you know going east it's, it's a lot of people think that's a better option they can definitely get more bang for their buck on a home and definitely save on let's say gas foods goods and services uh the medical the transportation just just about everything and anything so that is the number Number three pro, but really the number one pro that you really need to know. So with all that being said, you guys, let's jump into our cons. Con number one, it is going to be the weather. So the weather in Escondido compared to all of sunny San Diego and the coastal cities is just not as great. So it still has a really great weather index rating but compared to the coastal cities, uh, it is significantly hotter, uh, a little bit more drier. And so that's kind of why a lot of people, that is one of the things that people do talk about Escondido is it does get a little bit on the warmer side. And now I'm comparing this to the sunny San Diego coastal cities and the beautiful, everybody talks about the amazing weather that San Diego has all year round. Now, if you decide to move to Escondido, you're not gonna have that 68 degree weather all year long. You guys are definitely gonna have some of those days in the 90s. You're gonna have some of those days that probably even break 100. Those are not very often, but you might have them every now and then, right? Now, during the winter months, just, just like any kind of inland empire uh, or inland city it can get a little bit colder and especially if you're closer to the mountains you're definitely going to feel it so that's kind of one of the major cons of living in in, in escondido california because in comparison to the rest of san diego county and those coastal cities can get a little bit warmer can get a little bit colder and so that is con number one con number two of living in escondido california it is going to be the schools so the schools in escondido california you guys they are not the best by any means but they are not the worst they're just mediocre so i know some place some places or some people or, or some statistics say the schools are really great but they're not highly rated schools they're not like top of the notch yes there is some of those schools that are definitely eight out of tens or nine out of tens but majority of them don't seem to sway that way they kind of all average out so that is one con of living in escondido whether i'm talking about elementary middle high school uh any type of colleges or whatever the case may be you guys the schools and this is me being brutally honest they are average maybe you know hitting that threshold of maybe being above average but by any means are they not like screaming through the roof ranking schools or they're, they're not like hey piece of crap schools where you wouldn't want to send your kids right they're just me being brutally honest very average schools and so that is why we're naming schools to be pro number two 
Now, third and final pro, again, the need to know, the must know, that not a lot of people kind of talk about when people move to Escondido, California, unless they're a local resident and they've been here for their whole lives or, you know, the horror stories or whatever the case may be, you guys. Let me just tell you, it is the crime and the safety. So Escondido, California used to get a really bad rap when it came to crime and safety because gangs were really out of control. Now in today's generation, in today's world of 2022, that's not always the case, but the crime is still there and it actually does rank um, higher in crime than the national average in the United States. And so it is still very much there. It's just not as bad as it once was. So it does have that reputation of, you know, gang violence, the crime, um, the safety not being that great, but they're definitely improving. They're definitely working. I know the city um, and the state there, I mean, the county, they're definitely making sure they're taking care of that and they're grinding away to stop all the violence and stop all the crime. Of course, it'll never completely go away, but they can make it at least a safer community for people to actually live in and not be scared. Now, when I talk to friends or local residents that live in Escondido, the one thing that they all tell me is they say, if you don't bother them, they won't bother you. Now, I can take that to some kind of, you know, a grain of salt, but it's just one of those things that, hey, everybody always says, hey, you don't bother them, they won't bother you you don't have a problem, you won't have a problem type of thing. But you guys, again, the crime and safety is not the best in Escondido, California. It's not screaming horrible, but it's not top of the notch either. Again, just kind of compared to the schools, pretty much average, kind of little slightly on the lower side of average, but it is what it is, you guys. Again, they're trying to continually improve it uh, it, it's not going to happen overnight, but that is going to finish off all the pros, all the cons, your guys' goods, the bads, the veggies. If you guys wanted to share any, if you guys wanted me to share any other pros and cons, just comment down below and I'll definitely share anything that I know of Escondido, California. Pro and cons recap time. So just a little bit again, you guys about the pro and the cons. I'm just going to recap everything. You guys, I definitely think that the pros definitely outweigh the cons when living in, in Escondido, California. Yes, it is scary to think about the crime and sef safety. It's not the best. However, they are continuing to work on it and improve it. And as you know, more things come, as the city expands, as the city grows, there's more volume. That means more money. That means more funding for police officers, firefighters, the local community service, people that help the community get better. And so that's again, one great thing about Escondido. It is kind of, a lot of people want to call it a hidden gem. Escondido in, in Spanish translates to hidden. So it's kind of like really a hidden gem in San Diego County that not a lot of people really know about. And that's kind of why we're making this video. But Escondido overall, I think it's a great location. They have tremendous amounts of things to offer you guys. You guys, that the diversity is there, affordability is there, the cost of living is there. And so it's just one of those things is, hey, if you're not too sure, or you wanna know more about it, again, just give us a call, send us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom one-on-one -on -one so we can go over anything that you guys need to know about living in Escondido, California. Thank you guys for watching Living in South California.